I haven't created a video in a while, but I would, I think uh, I wanted to get a video out about three cool uh, utilities that I saw. Um, the first was on Hacker News. It's called uh, NCurse's Disk Usage, so NCDU. The cool thing about it is, is it sent me on a rabbit hole uh, hunt, if you will, for other cool utilities. So basically, there's three of them. Um, and I'll talk about them here in a second. Um, there's NCDU, uh, Dua CLI, which is a Go-based one, I believe. Uh, it's either, it's Rust, it's built in Rust. And Duck, which I think might be in Go, I guess, maybe not. Either way, um, they're interesting ways of uh, figuring out where files on your, on your system are. Um, I've only really used these on, on Linux. Your mileage may vary on, on Windows. But if you're using Windows, uh, let's say you're using WSL, that's cool. I would suggest moving away from Windows. It's, it's not really my cup of tea. You're not going to get a lot of love for it on this channel. So anyways, if you're on Mac or uh, on a Linux box, these cool uh, three utilities might, might be, prove useful. So let's look uh, at the first one. So here we have, um, you know, I'm in, I'm in a container. I'm, I'm in a Podman container. This is Ubuntu. I wonder if it'll tell me. Uh, it won't. Um, but yeah, so this is just an Ubuntu latest container. Um, you can see that it's got a number of uh, mounts. Um, there are some folders I've created. Um, so one thing we can do is uh, just fire up the utility and and look at it. So um, what's cool about this is it will show you um, even hidden folders, which is nice. Um, and what's cool, I really like about this is um, it follows a little bit of the uh, Vim key binding. So you can like K and J uh, up and down, etc. Um, so it's quite nice. Um, uh, this is, this is cool. There's, uh, there's some interesting graphing utilities, etc. Um, so yeah, um, this is just to get a, a sense of what you can do with it. And, uh, I figured, um, it's an interesting way of understanding what is on your file system and how big they are so you can clean stuff up and, and things like this. So let's just close this real quick and do a little command line magic. So um, let me get, uh, let's just do this simply for folder in our do do bdif zero. Let's just create some, some files. Uh, um, Bar out. Ah, sorry. This would be folder here. Take that out. Yes, M. Let's make a uh, one gig files. And done. So now that you see they're done, and prior to this, you saw that um, there was nothing in the uh, folders. And here you can see now they are, you can see at the folder level, and this is quite difficult to do with uh, traditional command line utilities um, in the GNU uh, user land. But um, now you can see exactly what they are. I can delete them and I can go up. I can delete this one if I like. I can delete that one, etc., etc., etc. So it's pretty cool, pretty interesting stuff. Um, uh, the other utility that uh, I thought was cool. Let's uh, let's just do this again real quick. Oh, did I delete that folder? Oops. Okay, so let's. Uh, Cool. All right. It's a big. 
All right, so let's look at this again. Ah, so I, I made this even bigger. It doesn't matter. It's, it still proves the point. So, um, what's the the other one here? Is let's look at duck. So duck duck needs some some work. So you have to create an index for it first and give it a path. Let's do this, and then um, let's do. A UI and this gives you a cool UI similar to um, NCDU. It also follows the uh, BIM bindings. Um, I'm currently running Tmux, so the user interface is a little bit iffy, but uh, it's very, very similar here. So I can go in and delete this, I believe. Okay, well. Uh, is it X? Oh, I don't know how to delete this, but the idea being if you read the manual, you can figure out how to delete stuff. And then the next one would be uh, Dua CLI. So this uh, requires Cargo to be uh, installed. So Cargo install Dua CLI and then add it to your path. So I just did this, but you'll want to add this to your RC, you know, bash or ZSHRC or whatever. Um, so now that it's working, let's, uh, okay, so it's not working. Great. Uh, is it? What's going on? Let's figure this out. Oh, I guess it's just called Duo. That's dumb. Okay, so it's a similar idea. Uh, let's see what else is here. So, ah, do interactive. That's what we want. It uses a sub command. So, similar idea here. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to to show everyone, um, you know, kind of how this works, and. Um, hopefully inspire you to take a look and see if it might. Uh, give you, fix, help help you find uh, files or, or folders that might have grown too large, maybe temp folders that you uh, aren't aware of. If you ever wonder where did all my disk space go, tools like this can help. What's neat about um, uh, the uh, duck uh, command is this graph uh, command. And what it does is it creates a PNG since I'm in a terminal and I'm not uh, connected to an X server, I can't show you what the image will be. But what it will do is it'll graph all of them in kind of like a, an exploded pie chart. And then you can see uh, what percentages and where all your files are. And it, it's easier looking at it that way because you get a whole view of what's going on uh, and where, where your files are. Um, there are similar Mac tools that I've used that do the same thing. I don't remember what they're called, but uh, you know, if you're if you're coming from that and you're, you're trying to find a similar tool, uh, this duck tool can give you the graph, and it's quite nice. So I hope that uh, you found this useful. Uh, I will put the links to each of these in there uh, in in the notes for the uh, for the video, and uh, yeah, thanks again.